Um, Alright, so today I'm going to give a comprehensive review on why I chose UCI because it's a question that I get more frequently than I expected. Um, so I'm just going to kind of break it down and for all you younger students who are going to be doing college applications this year or next year or you transfer students, I'm just going to give some reasons why I chose UCI. Okay, so the first part in choosing UCI as my school was choosing my major, and that took way more time than I thought it would. Um, I am one of those people that didn't really know what they were going to do, and so it took me like most of the summer before applying to finally figure out, hey, this is what I'm going to do, uh, at least I think. And so what I ended up choosing was computer science, and once I chose computer science, I started researching schools. Alright, so basically I started looking at rankings. I looked up, hey, what are the best computer science schools uh, in the nation and more specifically in California because I knew I wanted to stay in state. And so it, that's what I did. And so UCIA landed around fourth, uh, which was pretty good. Um, Slow was, I think, third, and then Stanford and Berkeley were uh, first and second. So so that would give me a good idea, like what are the top five schools um, for computer science? Um, the next thing I had to take into account was my GPA, SAT scores, community service, things like that. Uh, you see, as a school that doesn't care too much about your SAT, which is good because um, my SAT is pretty trash, honestly. Um, so it's harder for me to get into like a more technical school, like slow, um, because I did poorly on my SAT. I do poorly on most of my tests in general, so if you're like that, then maybe you should consider some of the UCs that don't really care about your SATs as much, which are like Santa Cruz or UCI or Davis, um, schools like that. So after considering both ranking and uh, my GPA and SAT scores, you can like kind of find a correlation of which schools you might be able to get into, which schools might be a little bit harder to get into, and which schools might be a little bit easier to get into. Um, so UCI was kind of around the perfect medium as far as my GPA goes, my SAT goes, and my major, like how just how good their program is for my major. Um, so that was that was essentially like one of my top picks for the school for a school I wanted to go to. One of the things to consider is whether you want to go to a private school or to like a Cal State or UC, or if you want to go out of state if you're if you're in California. And um, I decided I wanted to go to UC over private schools because private schools have you know very expensive tuition um, and. Uh, some private schools can be a bit obnoxious, just like the people who go there and things like that. That's a little bit of a stereotype, but in my experience it has been pretty true. And so that was part of the reason. But actually, one of the biggest reasons is because UCs have some of the biggest range. So if you want to switch your major to a different major, then you're still going to be in good shape because it's a UC and most of the programs there are probably going to be, you know, uh, pretty prestigious. And so that was a big reason why I chose... A UC over like a private school because private schools often can be very specialized in certain things or even technical schools are often a lot more uh, specialized and focused on just you know getting you the basics getting you to know what you need to know and then you know getting you out of there. Um, one of the things that I really like about the UC campuses is that they're research institutions so you're you're actually you know a part of the discoveries that are going on today, you know, you can you can discover something in college rather than just getting, you know, the basics down um, and not actually participating in, in what's going on in the real world. So I think that the UC system really appealed to me like that and that's one of the reasons why I didn't choose like uh, Cal State. Um, okay, so the second step is location and types of people. And so one of the colleges I was considering was UC Santa Cruz. 
And here's the thing, Santa Cruz is beautiful, but if you look outside, I already live in like a, a place surrounded by nature and I've lived for like, you know, in kind of rural areas for my whole life. And so I kind of wanted something different. I really wanted to move to somewhere that was a bit more urban. Um, and Irvine is definitely, you know, like, it's more of a city. It's more of a concrete jungle than Santa Cruz, which is like, you know, has a forest and, and all, like, the beautiful beaches nearby. And it, it's really nice. But, and then, so, campus is another big deal. Um, I know that there's a few people who don't really think it's a big deal because it's like, hey, you're just going to get your education. You're only going to be there for, you know, four years or so. Uh, not a big deal, but for me, Four years is a long time, you know, you're gonna be living there for four years unless you decide to transfer out. So it should be somewhere that you that you like. And so uh, UCS campus, like the first time I visited it, it kind of just felt like home. Um, it was very comfortable and there's a beach, you know, pretty near, uh, pretty close by. And I really love the beach that's over there. And the campus was like not enormous and sprawled out like UC San Diego is or like UCLA. It's very kind of compact, even though the school is big. Uh, there's like two rings, and um, there's an inside ring and an outside ring, and so the entire school is just kind of in one big circle rather than like this enormous map that's spread out, and that's something that I really liked as well. Also, aside from the general campus, uh, you wanna make sure that you like the, the town around it. Um, and that shot that the time-lapse that I put in the video was actually from Newport Beach which is right next to UCI and It's just really nice like the community is really nice. It's just a really nice area a little bit rich and white, but um, It's a really cool area overall. So that's something you want to also look into um, Not just the campus, but also the area around your school and for me the like kind of suburban feel of Irvine really really like met what I wanted um, and then second is the type of people that go to, you know, specific campuses. And that can be a little bit of a stereotype. There's always going to be people that you're going to be able to mesh with. Uh, it's not something that I would let you sway too much. But um, to a certain degree, you know, certain types of people will go to certain campuses just because they're, they specialize in certain things. You know, if you're, if you're going to a private arts college, you're probably not going to meet very many STEM-minded people, you know? That's just, that's just not how that works. And it's the same with any other school. Um, and so, the stereotype for uh, UCI is, is a bunch of nerdy Asian people who just study all the time, and then there's a beach nearby, so there's surfers. And that was something that just kind of fit my, you know, like, what I like. I like nerdy Asian people, which sounds really weird. Um... UCs are big schools, and some people don't really want, you know, the big school environment. Uh, that was something that didn't bother me personally. I just wanted, like, a little bit smaller class sizes. And UCI typically, you know, is around 19 people per uh, class, depending on, you know, depending on your major. Uh, I chose computer science, so I got a little bit screwed there because the computer science classes are going to be big in almost any school you go to, unless you go to a private school, because it's just, it's just a super popular major. But... Um... Um, affording college is something that a lot of people worry about. And it really shouldn't be as big of a concern as it is. And, and here's why. It's because financial aid, there's two types of financial aid, at least in California. There's Cal Grants and then there's FAFSA. And if you're like in the lower brackets, they will they will help you get there. Um, depending on how much money you make, they can go anywhere from paying your full tuition to paying you know like half of it or or even more than half of it. And sometimes it can be cheaper to go to UC because uh, the percentages just add up. You're paying you know it's more expensive than a Cal State on paper, but after financial aid, they'll give you more help because it's more expensive, and so it can end up actually being cheaper than going to a um, you know, at Cal State. Um, for private schools, it'll almost guaranteed be more expensive than a UC or Cal State, even with financial aid, uh, even with the help from the college. It usually just averages out being a little bit more than um, a UC. But that being said, there are still scholarships, there are still ways to get free money. And so what I found is that y you don't really need to be that concerned about 
um, spending. And if you work, you know, if you're gonna work hard in college and you're not this, just there to party or something, like a lot of people are, then um, getting an education is worth it. You know, it, it's it's worth your it, it's worth your time and money. More than likely, it'll pay you back. It, that's not to say that um, you know college is not going to be expensive with the help of financial aid. It'll still be expensive, but uh, I think usually you will be able to drop it down to a reasonable price where you you know you may it may be a struggle for a little bit, but uh, if you're getting education and you're going to get a job and you're going to be successful because of it then it's worth it. So that that's my main point there. Uh, one more thing that personally um, made me want to go to UCI more than some of the other schools I made it into was because I actually auditioned there for the music program. And that was something I didn't do for any other schools. You know, for Santa Cruz, my secondary major was game design, not music. Um, so UCI was the only school that was like, hey, you still need to audition even if it's your secondary major. So, uh, and the audition was, was a lot of work. Um, perhaps a story for another video, but it was definitely something I worked really hard for and then when I made it in, I was uh, genuinely surprised, but also uh, more inclined to go to UCI so I can double major, which is what I'm doing, I'm doing computer science and music, so uh, I get the best of, you know, both worlds, STEM and humanities, so yeah. Okay, so that was kind of a long video, but to break it down, basically, um, I just really like the location, the campus, the type of people. Um, when I was initially applying for the school, it kind of merged well with my GPA and my SAT scores, and I really like that the UCs actually read your essays. You know, not all schools have essays. If you go to a technical school, your application process won't have any essays, which makes it a lot easier, but it feels a little bit less personal, I feel. Um, it depends what you prefer. Uh, at, at the end of the day, but for me, just like for all three portions of it, it just fit really well, and so that's why I chose UCI. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribe, appreciate your time, even though if you made it to the end of this video, I'm pretty impressed with you, honestly, because that was a long video, and uh, I apologize for the length of it. Yeah.